characters need to get revised in general. Here's my thoughts on what they could do for scanning characters that would make it so much better for everyone without drastically nerfing them into the ground, essentially, right? So you have Bloodhound here. So there's a scan from Bloodhound, right? You can see the homie out there. You can see the homie right here. And the thing that you can see about them is that there's an icon on them and there's also like an outline on them, right? And it goes out pretty far. It doesn't really take a whole lot of skill to use. You know, it gives away your position, but at the same time, it's not really that much of a sacrifice that you're giving yourself, right? And all they keep on doing to nerf Bloodhound is add on more time for the scan. And I just don't think that's smart. I think that just makes the character less fun to play. And it just adds even more emphasis on the fact that people need these wall hacks to be able to play the game, right? What I think they should do is something similar to what they did with Lion on Rainbow Six Siege. So basically, instead of having like a whole outline and tracking them constantly, what it should be is it should be pings, right? So when you scan them, you could get two scans instead of one scan. You do a scan, it'll ping them where they're at. Just in that moment, that's where these people are at. And then you could scan, like you have two scans, so you could scan again, like almost immediately if you'd want to, or you could hold on to it for a different usage, but it just scans them right where they are. Think of it kind of like Cypher. Think about it like Cypher Alt in Valorant, how it just like hits them exactly where they are, but doesn't continue to track them. That kind of idea. Like if, if you have Bloodhound, two scans, give them two scans to make sure that it's like it's compensated for. But I feel like they could do the same thing with the scan here because it already does so much. Just mark where they are in that instance and that's it, right? Because it's Seer, I don't think you even need to give two scans like you would do with Bloodhound because it does so much more than just scan. I would say when it comes to crypto, you could probably do the same thing. Say it only scans like every three seconds or something like that. Like every three seconds, it would renew the scan, right? And this is coming from someone who plays crypto and really like don't want to see him get nerfed. But I think that scan characters in general need to get this kind of nerf. I think that's how they would fix scanning. You know, I think that's how you would be able to get a uh, a game that still has scans for people who want it, but also doesn't make it so that it's just a bunch of wall hacking characters. You know, come on, crypto, you're giving us a yeah, bad name, bro. Right Wait, did now. he just res again? I think that was the ad. I'm sorry, brother. From one crypto to another, I'm sorry to do it to you, bro. I'm sorry, bro. I love you. No way! Oh, yeah. His drone just ate those shots, bro. That's smart. That's smart. Yo, that's actually big brain. He did it accidentally, but that's actually such a big brain fucking play. If you're fighting against a uh, seer and the alt's down, you can hide behind the alt, like, because the teammates can't hit it. Like, it, it it doesn't penetrate it. That's crazy. That's actually insane. What is it that you guys enjoy about the stream? So I just beat this man with a Rubik's cube. What the fuck? Yeah, I like your thighs. You know, people usually have to pay extra for this ash. I'm doing it for free. Watch your back. I won't always be around. <laughs>